Pete. Well, I suppose we could add a delete to each one of these, but I don't really want to do that. I'd rather have delete over here in the form so I could delete whichever one's loaded into the form, which so far is only going to be the new one. But let's start there. And hopefully we just get the rest for free when we implement that next thing. So in note form, mm, I don't really want this button here anymore. I want to make the button in the sidebar do that, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's add another button. And inside that button, I will have an I element with a class of FA and FA trash O. Good old font awesome. There we are. And again, it's hugging that too close, but I'm going to make that one go away anyway. And we want something to happen when we click on it. So let's put on click equals a function called handle remove, this dot handle remove. Why this? Because note form is actually a class, not a stateless functional component. So when we write handle remove, we need to write it as a method. We have handle changes, handle submit, handle remove. It is an event handler, so I could throw the event in there. Not going to do anything with it, though. So what I want to do is remove that note from state. So I'm going to have to write something up in app, right? I can't change the state of another component from inside here. But I could write it up here and then pass it down as a prop. So we have a save note up here. I'll just put remove note right after that, since it's related to that. Remove note. Use our property initializer trick. Set it to an arrow function. And the way I'd like this to work, just like save note, you just pass in a note and it does it. So let's just make this so that you can pass in a note and it removes it. So to do that, we need to get the notes we're going to be updating the notes object in state, right? So we could say const notes equals a copy of this.state.notes using the spread syntax, object spread syntax. And then what? So notes square bracket note.id would get us that note, right? The one we want to remove. So how'd you do it? Delete, because this is not an array anymore. This is an object. If you want to delete a key from an object, you do it like that. <coughs> Here I have an object. Let meals equals breakfast, lunch, dinner. Delete meals.lunch, and I get back just breakfast and dinner. So that's how you remove a key completely from an object. But guess what? That no longer works once we have Firebase in the mix. Because when you delete that key from the object in state, it's going to say, oh, well, that note isn't there. I know I, I, I should probably sync this note and push it back down. So what we have to do is set notes square bracket note ID explicitly to null. That way it's still in there. So it will see, oh, this has changed. I should push that up. So if we set it to null, which totally does not work before Firebase, by the way, that will not do the right thing. So you couldn't have done this this way all along. If I do that and then remember to set state, then we're hopeful that it does the right thing. 
So back in note form, well, we need to call this from note form, right? So we're going to have to pass that down as a prop. No, I didn't need to look anything up in the dictionary. So note form, I get to through main, right? That's got an awful lot of props now. I'm tired of typing that stuff. So I think this tag is getting too hard to read. So how about this? I'm going to make a variable up here called actions. It's going to be an object. It's going to have all the props, all the action type props that I want to pass down to main. So save note, colon, this dot save note. Remove note, colon, this dot remove note. And then check this out. I no longer need to pass in save note explicitly. Here's another fun use of the spread syntax. Totally works. Spread out actions into an object on this JSX. And all of these keys end up as props. Totally works just as if I had written them all out. So it's a little more eye-catching. We could still put these on new lines if we wanted. Don't have to. <coughs> so then down in main, We're already getting all the props. So if we want to pass it down to note form, we could add another prop here. Or what about this? Now we're passing all the props down using that same trick. Just take this object, spread it out, pass it to the JSX, and it works. Those act as props. So down in note form, we have this dot props because this is a class. So this dot props dot remove note would be that. So in handle remote, we need to call this dot props dot remove note. And we need to pass in the note that we want removed. Which inside here? Is this dot state dot note? That's the current note. This dot state dot note. And then remove note back up in app. It's just gonna get the ID out of that and set that key on its own state to null. Does it work? <clears throat> well, let's add a new note. Here it is. See? Now if I hit trash, it's gone. It's gone from here, it's gone from Firebase. Because if it weren't gone from Firebase, Firebase would have pushed it back down, right? It worked. Now we can only delete the one that's in the form. But we can totally do that because it has the ID. Because when we save it in app.js with save note, we don't make a copy of it. We set the same one in state. So the ID does make it back down to our other component. So now we can delete notes. Or a note, anyway. <laughs>